It does seem to look that way. I mean, certainly if less something dramatic happens in the last week or so. I mean, the, the national polls on average are what, you know, at, you know, at best for Trump, eight or nine points behind. Now, of course, everybody says, oh, but the polls got it wrong last time. Well, actually, they didn't. Um, the national polls last time, by the time we got to polling day, had Hillary Clinton three points ahead. In the end, she was two points ahead. And everybody forgets that actually it was the electoral college system that delivered the election to Donald Trump. It was not the popular vote. Um, but sure, and of course, that does reveal the fact that the electoral college can occasionally uh, go against the, uh, uh, the the winner of the popular vote, and that's more likely to happen to the Republicans. You know, uh, George Bush profited from that as well. Um, but that, you know, with an eight or nine point lead, um, even allowing for you know things be not going quite so well in some of the swing states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and Michigan, it does look very difficult to see how Donald Trump is going to get back. And I think probably history will judge that whatever chance Donald Trump had of winning this election essentially was lost uh, when the coronavirus pandemic seemed to uh, get, get out of control uh, inside the United States, where you know, clearly things, you know, the, 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 the virus has caused far uh, more health difficulty than it has in most other countries, even in most European countries. And of course, looks very, the handling of coronavirus looks very bad indeed.